Hi guys. Here's a quick tour of the ranger station. Come on in. You'll enjoy this. All right, so right now we're in the living room. When you come in, from here you have your couch, your seating area, storage under the couch. It's not traditional, but it works pretty well. From across from the couch, you have a flat screen TV, which is actually 50 inch, fits perfectly. Your power outlets behind it, built in shelving. Your switches here control your outside and your inside lights, which the foyer right here has lights. And so does your kitchen down here. You have your countertop slash kitchen prep area, which has dedicated outlet, GFCI. You also have your two benches with lots of storage. These are actually cereal box size. They'll fit exact. All right. And I, I made these kick plates. These are actually can size. You can fit soup cans and normal things like that underneath. So like here, pumpkin fits, no problem. We have our mini fridge, okay, cooktop, which you just place over here, and you can plug it into either this GFCI or that one. They're both on their dedica own dedicated circuit, so you can put heavy items. Um, the service is only a 50 amp service, short connection. If you did it connect it to direct power, it could be a 100 amp connection. We got your microwave, lots of storage on the top, Pots, pans, you can fit cups up there. Down here is your sink, also with storage underneath. It's a full size sink. Another outlet that is also GFCI protected. Put a lot of safety things in here. Switches. We got lots of drawers. Okay. Storage under the stairs here. Also have storage underneath. Okay, mainly, for, I figure for shoes, boots, whatever you want really. Um, that's, that's this side, this is your main level. Um, you also have, on this level, if you turn around, we also have the bathroom. Which is a full-size bathroom. Put the fan going outside the vent. We'll shut that off, it's probably noisy. Shower, full, full size shower, full tub. Um, yeah, so all that good stuff. Our sink, underneath the sink is actually our water heater. It's a 1.6 gallon per minute water heater. Medicine cabinet that actually opens, has storage for, you know, medicine stuff. Tower rack, compost and toilet. Um, this has this little computer fan, stuff like that. That is also a GFCI, which is teed off of this unit here. Um, yeah, you have all your switches, all that good stuff. Want a light everywhere. Yeah, I'll show you the upstairs now. Going upstairs, we have an outlet here first. This is mainly a dedicated outlet, so anything high pressure, well, I'm pressure yet, like a vacuum, anything like that is a high volume draw of power. Behind here, we have the panel, okay, which everything's labeled. You see all the dedicated circuitry. Um, you have room for four more things, so in the future, if you want to do solar or anything, you do have the space for it. Going up the stairs, we have our lights here, okay, which is a loft above me, and there's a loft over here. Okay, we have standard style mini house steps, but the top step is bigger, so you can sit down when you're coming up. 
which is a very big deal. Up here is big enough for me. From the floor up to here, I believe is uh, 36 inches. I don't remember right now. I believe it's 36. That side's 38, I know that for sure. We have the mini split up here with a, uh, this is a queen size mattress, okay? So with the stairway being the way it is, you will have to have a foam mattress or something of that sort. It will fit perfectly. From here, we have our switch here, which on the stairs, a three-way switch. So we have a light switch up here. Outlets, all everywhere. We got one, two, and we got one on the other side of me here while I'm in the way. Right here. This one you can, I think you mount the TV, put a tablet stand, or whatever you want. There's plenty of options up here. Behind me is the mini split. That does your heat and AC. It's a very efficient unit. I ran it all winter and it was only like $25 a month. Kept this unit extremely comfortable. We have a fan from downstairs, which I've got to show the light switches for that. They were right next to the refrigerator. I'll show that on the way out. But this is, I'm calling this side the master loft. We have our catwalk here. And this side can be considered, you know, either the hangout, kids loft, possibly a place for just clothes. Um, this is also on a switch, the same as the stairs, another three-way switch. Also has power on this side. You have your windows, um, lots of light in here, and actually lots of room. This, this is roughly a little, little bigger than four by eight right here. You can fit a twin size bed, um, or whatever you want, really. So that's that for this side. It's pretty spacious up here. You can fit pretty comfortably. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. The floor here, as you can see, that's why I left that out. Um, carpet of the floor. Pergo here. The same pergo that's down on the entire main floor. And our light switches and the fan for the top. So if we hit flip all the switches in here, bathroom's off, kitchen's off, upstairs is off. This part's off. Now all we have is just a fan running with that light. Hey, thank you for checking this out. Hope you guys enjoyed.